What's up YouTube, this is Trey. I'm gonna give you all a video of me grooming my dog. Uh, this, is, uh, this is my dog, this is Nova. If you don't know that I have a dog named Nova. Uh, you see her hair. I'm going to be cutting her down and giving her the standard schnauzer cut. The standard schnauzer cut. Uh, she's pretty laid back and I give her treats every so often drop the cut just so that she can Uh, just so she'll be relaxed. So every so often I give her treats just to keep her. So, stay with me as I do this. Uh, if I haven't said this any other time in the video, please go like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you like or don't like about the video. Um, tell people about me. I'm trying to uh, build my YouTube channel. So thank you all in advance for that. So what I'm doing here, I have the clippers. Clippers, I want to say they came from Walmart. I've had these clippers for a year or two. Um, they still work fairly well. Of course, if you want to be a professional with it, by all means, go and get the expensive clippers that they have at your local grooming shop. Um, but I'm using a guard uh, number one on the top of this schnauzer cut. Uh, so I cut this down uh, level one. What you're gonna notice, notice also is every so often I do her body and then I go to her uh, face. Um, and that's to keep her from getting overly irritated while I'm cutting her face. Uh, of course, clippers heat up. So between the clippers heating up and, and you got this sound so close to her face, her eyes, her nose, um, and then of course her nose being a sensitive area, so which is why I, I will go between uh, doing her face and her body just so that I can keep the irritation down for her. Anybody that knows me know that for many, many years I had a German Rottweiler. Her name was Ginger. Her name still is Ginger. I, I just I no longer have her. She was 120 pounds. I've never really, really wanted a small dog because uh, me being 6'3", I just never liked the idea of having to walk a dog that was so little. Uh, but I've had her now going on um, two years, and it's cool. It's not that bad having a smaller dog. Of course, you save more money with food. You save more money with uh, toys and things like that. So, you know, it, it works out for me. Of course, to save money, and I'm a person who always trying to save money, I've been perfecting the craft of grooming your dog just so that I don't have to go to the groomer every so often. So that's why I've purchased all this stuff to groom my own dog. When I first got her, I might even been a whole y'all. I did not like her. Uh, she didn't like me. Uh, I thought that she was really, really, really sensitive. But over time, she's taught me patience. You're gonna see this a few times. Uh, <laughs> I'm cutting her hair outside, obviously, as you see. And these flies are crazy up under this oak tree behind my townhouse. Um, but I just swat them away and um, <laughs> they'll come back a few times throughout this video. But I try my best to uh, keep the flies from interrupting the video. Most small dogs bark a whole lot. Uh, thankfully, my dog doesn't bark that much and I'm really, really grateful for that. She's just starting to bark just a little now. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a small dog that is loyal, um, she likes to be around you. She, uh, she, she will whine if she can't see you. She follow you everywhere around the house. Most dogs are like that, but I think she's a little extreme. And it was a lot to get used to when I first got her. But if you like that in a dog, by all means, I do recommend that you get you a miniature schnauzer. I would actually like to get a standard schnauzer or a large schnauzer eventually. Uh, having a dog that is hyperallergenic in a house uh, after having a Rottweiler for all those years, it makes me really look at dogs differently where I do not want another dog that sheds inside my house.
These flies are so crazy out here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully y'all don't ding me as, as a horrible video because of these flies. Anytime you're doing something with your pet, I highly recommend that you get a treat that they really like. Uh, these treats that I'm giving her, I think they're dried out chicken. Um, I'm stepping away right now. Um, I can still see her. Uh, I stepped away to get the wipes uh, because I'm using clippers and I'm going. Go, I'm going around the area in which she poops. I clean it. Um, I clean it to. Um, I guess kind of keep the clippers from getting too dirty. I do clean the clippers afterwards, but I just don't like the idea that I'm about to cut around her poop area, <laughs> and then I'm gonna. Uh, to use the clippers. So that's why I went and got the wipes so I can clean her, her butt area before I uh, cut back there. Now I'm taking the three guard and I'm just going through and going over the lower part of her um, her skirt uh, just to try to take everything down even, uh, cut out any areas that may have been matted or anything like that. Um, and that's all I'm doing in this, this clip right here where I change the guard on the clippers. And of course, knowing your dog, um, anytime she sits down, that's telling me that she's tired of me being back there. So when she sits down, I'll go do something else and cut something else. And when she stands back up, then uh, later on, I'll go back and finish whatever I was doing from before. Here I'm just doing any more touch-ups um, that may need to happen uh, around the ears, uh, hair coming out of her ears, shaving down the hair on her ears. Be careful around the ear part because you don't want to nix her. Um, of course, over the years I have nicked, nicked dogs, cutting them myself. Um, if you can't do this, of course, go to a groomer. If you feel this is too much, go to a groomer. But I'm all about saving money. Um, I have a dog that's hyperallergenic that grows hair and I want her to look nice, so that's why I just do it on my own. Uh, I also cut my own hair, but of course, that's just me. But if, if this is too much for you, by all means, go to a groomer. Um, hers is not perfect. Um, it's, it's good for me to be doing it and, and never having any training. Um, but yeah, and this is the video.